So, I got a package in the mail today, all the way from Singapore. Arrived here this afternoon. It only took about a week to get here, which I'm thrilled about. This is my new DRO, digital readout for the milling machine. I'm gonna unpack it here, see we uh, see that everything's okay. Check it out. It'll be uh, it'll be the weekend before I actually get out there to install it. But uh, yeah, pretty excited. Let's take a look inside. Okay, first box. This is the DRO itself. Like I said, I got this from Singapore. From a gentleman named Scott at the DRO store on eBay. It's a Sinpo. Same thing as a Sino, I think. DRO, parkour there. This is the uh, arm for it. This is the milling machine version, three axis. Oh yeah, call it holder in there. Nice. See that there. Manual of operations. I guess I know what I'm putting myself to sleep with tonight. Screws and wires, grounding wire, I think that is. Here's the DRO itself. Oh, yeah. A little different than the picture <laughs> on the eBay listing. This is the uh, MTech one, I think. So, uh, yeah, I believe they're all the same, anyways. This will. Uh, Cool. Very nice. Everything appears to be intact. So this one's the important one, uh, the scales. The scales are, uh, are glass. So I'm going to check and make sure everything shipped all right and nothing got broken in transit. I was real happy with the, uh, with the shipping. Boy, did it ever come quick. It only took a week to get from uh, Singapore to Canada here. Operation manual for the linear scales. All right. I believe this one is a uh, z-axis. Nothing seems to be rattling other than the screws. That's a good sign. Scales are all sealed in uh, individual packages. That's good. Nothing but screws rattling again. Very nice. This will be the Y. A little shorter. Good, good. These are the covers. Excellent. Covers for each of those there. Let's keep all the chips and everything off. And this would be a package of aluminum bits for uh, mounts and such. Very good. Excellent. Alright, the thing appears to be in order, so uh, pretty happy about that. So I'm going to package it all up and uh, stow it away for, uh, for Friday when i got some time that I can get out to the, out to the shop and get, the, get this installed on the mill. Excellent! Okie dokie! So, got my DRO. I was going to do a little more videoing, but I got kind of carried away. So I've got this mounted already. This is just the uh, head unit here. Pretty simple, just drill and tap a couple, uh, couple bolts into the, into the frame there. Comes with a little collet tray and a limited space, but just what I need. And uh, yeah, I think there's even a switch here that works somewhere. There we go. Let's see if something happens. There we go. So I don't have the scales hooked up yet, but at least we have power, and it goes beep. See? Beep. Excellent. So, uh, let's take a look at the scales. So, in this box was all of these things. Keeping those all packaged, but I've got the, uh, got the first one out here. This is the X. 
This is a little reader head thing and it slides back and forth after you take the little brackets off. Everything seems to be okay. I had uh, a slight bend in the end of one of the covers, but whatever, it's just a cover. So with it comes a bunch of uh, blocks, shims, ties, whole whack of screws, and I'll be doing a whole bunch of drilling and tapping yet tonight. Uh, these are all the brackets, the various different brackets for mounting in whatever configuration you may need. We'll see how well they work. So everything was packaged real well. And uh, so far so good. So let's try getting this installed. Okay, so I got the X scale on. Here it is. No cover on there yet, but uh, it's a little bit of an exercise in frustration. Mostly because they don't really send the screws that you need at least not for this. I had to sort of modify things through here. Drilled out the threads that were in there so I could mount straight through onto the saddle. And these I got shimmed up. I uh, didn't have enough shims there so I had to make my own. But uh, we got her dialed in pretty good. And when you hit the button, it counts up, it counts down appears to be doing what it should, so that's great. That took a few hours to do, so hopefully the next one will go a little quicker, but that won't be tonight. It's kind of late, so I'm going home, going to bed. Okay, next night working on this thing here. As you can see, I got numbers in the Y. I got the uh, scale installed down here now. In uh, this one here, it would have been nice to uh, to have had the, let's see, they like the little transducer thing fixed so that the cable's not swinging every time you move it, but uh, on the uh, y-axis that's generally not possible on here. So anyway, this one worked uh, a little bit better. Of course, nothing's ever simple. With this bracket here, you got a little more adjustability. and. Uh, my knee here has a very slight taper to it at either end, which necessitated cutting a little, uh, a little tapered block to fit in there. So I did that at each end, which you can see there. And uh, that's got things running nice and straight and true. More true than the uh, x-axis. The x-axis I found had a little bit of... Uh, the sucker wasn't straight is the issue there. Um, of course, you'll never see the minute bit of deflection that's in there, but anyway, it seems to work fine, so I'm not worried about it. So, next is the Z-axis. Uh, this one will be a lot more tricky, because the uh, edge of the knee, or the base there, is rounded. And I got a little, uh, little oiling line in there to deal with. So I think I have a plan figured out. Um, and I will attempt to do some. See how we make out. Okay, making a little more progress here. With the Z axis, I got the lower mount done. So this is a little tricky. Nothing's ever easy, of course. That's what makes it fun. So uh, drilling through here, of course, this is the uh, coolant shaper in there. So I have to be very careful not to drill all the way through that, but still get enough threads to hold it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but uh, I had to cut a taper through there because the column is, of course, tapered. 43 thou per inch, as it turns out, which up at the top equals uh, 1.090 gap. So, good thing I have a milling machine. I cut myself a little spacer here. Uh, it's not quite thick enough, so I'll have to add the other 100 thou on the, on the edge there. That'll slip in behind, space things out, taper, keep things square and straight. Very nice. So we're getting there, but it's a wee bit late. Um, a little after 11, so uh, I think it's time to go to bed and go home. So this will have to wait for another day. Catch you later. Okay, so I got numbers in all three directions. X, Y, and Z. Working great. The uh, Z-axis I just finished up here. 
That was a little tricky, uh, mostly because of clearance getting in at the bolts down there. Um, had to grab a couple nuts, which didn't come in the kit. Would be nice if they'd include a few. And uh, once again, I had to taper that bracket to fit the taper of the knee. But it all worked out all right. Got that all trued up. Had to do the alignment in the uh, uh, front back, how it tips there. Uh, what, about four or five times before I finally got everything in there. Kept on having to disassemble to get clearance for things like the drill and such. But got her all in there. Overall, the install went pretty good. Pretty happy with things there. It's looking nice. Everything's working. That's the main part there. And uh, now I've just got cleanup to do. Got to tidy up these cables and put the covers on. 